Dear students, in this class, we will learn how to write the MATLAB code to find the linear convolution of two sequences using a time domain. We know that a convolution is a mathematical way of combining a two signal to form the third signal. The linear convolution is the mathematical operation used to express the relation between the input and output of an LTI system. An LTI system is the linear time invariant system this system has an input x of n, the output is y of n. The output y of n is the response of an LTI system. y of n is nothing but x of n convolved with h of n. h of n is the impulse response of an LTI system. And y of n is the output of an LTI system. x of n is the input of LTI system. The convolution of two signals a sequence is given by a summation k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k into h of n minus k. We will see how to calculate linear convolution. Consider a two sequence x of n as 1, 2, 3, 4, h of n 1, 2, 1, 2. The first we have to calculate what is the length of x of n and h of n. And here in this example, the length of x of n as 4, h of n as 4. We are going to compute the response of a system using a tabular method by writing the input 1, 2, 3, 4, another input 1, 2, 1, 2 in the table form. Then we have to multiply the terms. After multiplying the terms, perform the addition diagonally. Take this input 1, multiply with 1, you'll be getting 1, 2, 1, 2. Take the second input 2, multiply with 1, you'll be getting 2. 2 into 2 is 4. The same procedure we have to follow. And then we have to perform the addition diagonally. y of n is equal to 1, 4, 8, 14, 15, 10, and 8. To compute a linear convolution using a MATLAB, we need to follow the following steps. First, we have to get the input from the user. Say either the input is x of n and h of n. After getting the input, we have to calculate the length of x of n, h of n, and y of n. We have to find the convolution of two sequence using a MATLAB function convolve. Then plot the signal using a MATLAB function stem and display the output. The MATLAB function used in this particular program, input, length, convol, display, subplot, stem, x label, y label, and title. The operator used in the code, colon and comma. We will see how to write the code using a MATLAB. First, we have to get a two input from the user. So before getting the two input, we have to go with CLC clear all and close all. So CLC is clear the command window and we have to close the previous existing file. After including CLC clear all close all, we have to start writing the program by getting the two input from the user. X is the input of enter the first sequence, H is equal to the input enter the second sequence. After getting the input from the user, we have to calculate the length of x, the length of h. Then we have to find what is the length of y. We know that the length of y is the length of x plus length of h minus 1. And here we have used the variable l and m. The length of y is m, which is equal to l plus m minus 1. After calculating the length, we have to plot the signal for both the inputs by using a subplot, subdividing the plot, followed by stem of assigning the x label within the bracket, within the quotes, y label, and followed by the title. The same procedure we have to follow it for h of n. Here we are going to see three plots. So we have to go with the row, three rows and one column and point, pointing the first plot. Three rows of one column pointing the second plot. 
we have to use the inbuilt function to compute the linear convolution. In MATLAB, we have a function called CONV convolve. A convolve of, we have to write x comma h. We have to pass the input followed by the impulse response of an LTI system. After getting the output, we have to display that. So we have to use display. The same output we have to plot it by taking the subplot 3, 1 and 3. 3 rows, 1 row, 3 rows, 1 column and pointing the third plot. And use the stem, stem of N3. For this N3 we have to take 0 colon N minus 1. N is nothing but L plus M minus 1. And we have to assign the X label within the bracket, within the quotes. We have to assign the label and Y label followed by the title. After typing this program, we have to run it by using this button, run button, and followed by that we have to pass the input. So we are going to give the same input what we have discussed in the calculation. So x of n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. And the second input here is 1, 2, 1, 2. Y of n. So already we computed Y of n. That we are going to verify with this output. 1, 4, 8, 14, 15, 10, 8. What are the variables we have used in the code? Everything you can able to see in the display command. Works display command. And this is the output we are getting. This is for the first sequence, the second sequence and the output. So these are the index value. Here the index is starting from 0. Here the index is 1. Here the index is 2 up to Lx plus Lh minus 1. And these are the possible viva question from this particular session. Thank you all.